So it's been a minute since I made a video and I moved into an entirely new space. I'm really excited to show you around here. So let's get right into it. How's it going everybody? It is Ben Aqua. Thank you for joining me today. I've been witnessing a lot of changes in general, so I thought I'd just completely revamp my studio setup. Long story short, I moved into a new house and now I have a new office setup that has a little more space than my previous tiny studio that I somehow made work, but that thing was the size of like a lunchbox. So my new office space is a little bit bigger and I have a new shelf over here. I have a new display that's amazing and I've been connecting that to my MacBook Air M1 as well as my Mac Mini M1 under my desk here. So let me grab the camera and let's just go around and I'll show you all the different stuff that I have going right now. This is a work in progress. It's not 100% complete. So anyway, this is my new space that you can see behind me. You're probably like, Ben, get out of the way. Just let me see your space. So let's flip the camera around. All right, so this is what I'm actually looking at when I'm filming my videos at the moment, at least. I'm sitting on this little Ikea stand here. This is, I think, some kind of Ottoman type thing. I got a pillow on here so my ass doesn't hurt after recording like an hour's worth of video. <laughs> and then I also have my light set up in here. I'm still using a $70 Yongnuo YN300 light that I've talked about on my channel before behind this umbrella and that's how I'm shooting my videos right now. This over here is a new shelf that I picked up off of Amazon and by the way I can link to everything that I'm talking about today in the description below so be sure to check that out support my channel. I love this shelf. I love the design of it. It's cartoony just like my personality apparently and I also really love the kind of mustardy pop of color and I think it's really fun to freshen up a space just by moving some things around you know, maybe getting rid of some old furniture or old peripherals, stuff you're not really using that much, and then bringing in some fresh new stuff that actually isn't super expensive. Like this yellow shelf was, I think, $150 or something. It's not insane for something that is functional and also beautiful, I think. When I moved into this house, these walls in this office space were already painted this kind of grayish, almost dark blue color. And to be honest, I'm not super mad about it. So I just kind of kept it. And you might recognize the rainbow lamp back there that was in the background of all my videos for the last like two years. I'm experimenting a little bit with where I'm placing my desk and stuff because I'm so used to just placing my desk and shelves and everything like against the wall. So I've been watching like a million videos about feng shui and how to organize a space. So this desk is actually in what's called a command position. So it's kind of in the back of the room. So it's facing a door which is behind me and it's also facing the window so I can kind of get a good view of outside or if you know if someone's coming to my door or something. And I really like how open the space feels now that I'm back here instead of like against the wall just staring at a blank wall because that's not super fun and I enjoy the view to look out, you know, check out some trees and stuff. I guess that's why they call it command position because back here, you're like in command of, you know, who's at the door or who's out the window. You're kind of back here doing your own thing. So over here is my MacBook Air M1. I love this thing. I have this actually connected via a long ass HDMI cable that's going into my 55 inch Sony A80J 4K OLED TV slash display. This thing is a freaking beast. Look at these viewing angles. I'll probably do an entire video just on this display because it is insane and it's kind of changed the way I create things and how I view content. I also painted my monitors, my studio monitors, the speakers white. These were completely black before. These are the BX8A from M Audio. This is what I've been using to produce all of my music for like 10 years. And by the way, if you're looking for some new sweet jams for your music library, check out my music on Apple Music and Spotify by searching for Ben Aqua. I make all kinds of weird electronic and pop music, so I really appreciate your streams. Share all my stuff with your friends. You are amazing. And I painted both of them this white color just because I wanted this almost like milky kind of minimal look for my media console. And speaking of media console, I found this one at Ikea. It was like $60 in the as is section. It's a pretty simple little system. So I have like some sketchbooks and stuff in there. And this is where I also hide my gaming stuff. And I'm not like a huge gamer or anything, but I do have a Nintendo Switch. And once in a while I'll play Apple Arcade with my Nimbus controller over there. And over here are a couple Ikea speakers that I'm testing out right now. This is the Sonos 
Symphonisk, and that's also a Symphonisk, but this is the new one that just was released where it actually is like a picture frame that you can put on your wall. It's a Sonos speaker as well, so it kind of works with Apple's AirPlay 2 ecosystem, and that's really cool. This chair over here is also from Ikea. Basically my entire room except for this shelf is like an Ikea showroom. <laughs> But yeah, this chair is really awesome. It's a pillow chair and I got this new um, kind of mustard yellow. I really, really like this chair. It's one of the most comfortable things I think Ikea even makes and it's pretty inexpensive too. I think it was like $60, $70. I also got these new rugs in here from Ikea as well. <laughs> Ikea, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. <laughs> There's hardwood floors in this space. So I added the rugs in here to kind of dampen up a lot of the acoustics. And I think it makes a pretty big difference. Then I also have a plant over here, which is an actual real plant. I debated going, you know, with like a real plant versus a fake plant. I went on a real plant because I like the idea that the real plant will actually grow. It'll change over time. It's kind of symbolic of some stuff. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this little shelf over here because it just looks kind of junky. So I'll probably get rid of that. I'm still loving this BenQ lamp right here, which is the BenQ e-reading lamp. One thing I'm loving about my desk as well is that since it's not just like facing a wall now, I can actually use it from this side or I can go back here and sit down in my chair, which is the autonomous ergo chair too. So I can sit down in the chair and then see my display over here. I'm using this Anchor HDMI um, adapter that goes into the USB-C port on the MacBook Air. And then I have this really long HDMI cable and that's fed into the Sony A80J back there. And what I love about this is that I can work off of my laptop really nicely, but then also have a larger display back there where I can really accurately see how my videos will actually appear on a larger display. I went back and forth a lot between, you know, using just an iMac, like the iMac M1 on my desk and then not having a display back there. But I kind of like the cinematic approach of having a bigger display in the back. It's also really awesome to have this big display in the back with my nice speakers so that I can unwind a little bit you know, sit down in my chair and play some Nintendo Switch or something, or just watch something on Netflix or whatever. These are just some IEMs that I'm trying out. These were sent to me recently by Fio. These are the Fio FD3. And I've also been using the Fio FH3. These are my favorite IEMs right now for listening to Apple Music and stuff. I also have a wireless charger on my desk here for charging my phone. So that is a quick overview of my new studio space. I am really excited to mess around with it more as it is a work in progress. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and be sure to subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think about my new studio space. Is there anything that you would kind of mess with or change a little bit? I love to see y'all down in the comments. That's it for this video. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know why I'm doing this with my face, but see ya. <laughs>